All right, what now? Well, we were about to put out a feeder and a camera, but it is pouring rain outside. And so we're seeing if it's gonna stop, but until then, we're just doing a little friendly round of ping pong, which I just recently found out I like playing and I'm kind of decent at. Probably played it like 20 times so far. I've watched him play it for forever and just never gotten in on it because him and his friends are too freakishly good at it. But now I found out I like it. And I uh, beat Matt, who's behind the camera right now. Well, that's good to edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> Always gotta have a snack. Big snack guy. Big snack guy. Big snack guy. Getting rained on. So, we're about to put a feeder out. In the first episode that we did of kind of deer season prep, we came up here and put a camera. This is at like the front of the property. We don't hunt here that much because I really don't like the stand that we had here. Not that it's not a good stand, we just didn't do it right for this place. Um, they're, they're a little bit higher up on the hill and it kind of goes down, so they're kind of like level with it when they come out and they see you so easily and so we're going to get a bit of a higher stand maybe brush it in a little bit better for this year just because i think it's a great spot that we have not been utilizing so we're going to go ahead and put this new real tree feeder out put some corn in it in front of the camera and see if we can't see what's in the area so a couple things about the jag 150 we also have the jag 50 feeder we we're just putting out the 150 here to get a little more corn out but it's easy to assemble literally takes five minutes it comes with the tools that you need to put it together holds a variety of feeds has great ventilation easy to move and relocate and it's pretty much just the most simple and effective feeding method that you could do Are we ready? Oh, I was just like, <laughs> so we already put this spot in the first video, like I said. So we have this five point link, uh, micro link camera up. We've been getting pictures on the little um, trophy rock area with minerals, but I think the corn is gonna do the trick, getting some more bucks in here. And like I said, this place has just been slept on. So putting this feeder out, I think is gonna be a game changer as to seeing what's around this area. And the bachelor groups are still together, so we can kind of keep track for maybe velvet season, I don't know. It's it's always a toss up where I'm gonna hunt during velvet season because it's so early and they're still on their summer patterns where they like literally do the same thing every day. It's crazy. And then as soon as deer season regular time comes, it seems like they get a memo and then they just change up like the day before. So we're gonna try to take advantage of velvet season and doing this kind of stuff definitely helps get, a, get your bearings when it comes to prepping. We're doing today is putting out a new trail camera from spy point trail cameras this is the lm2 it is now available it's almost brand new and it's just wild to think about how we used to spend our whole weekends going and checking trail cameras and swapping out sd cards and now they just come to our phone and we wake up in bed and look at our trail cameras from the night before and it's just it's just crazy to think about technology and hunting these days but putting that out put some camera some camera out put some corn out some golden acorns to see what is up here um, this is the highest point of our property it's not hunted that often but we do plan on doing a little food plot up here because Jonathan has spent so much time clearing it it's hard to get to so it's hard to be sneaky and get up here without busting the deer out um, but it does offer a really good spot to have food and hold deer on our property. The biggest thing when you have surrounding properties that also hunt is you wanna retain the deer. You wanna keep them on your property so they don't go get shot by the neighbor boy, right? And so this just offers another spot to feed them and hopefully hold them. Doesn't always work, but we can try. So that was today's rainy day deer season prep expedition. Quick, effective 
how we like it. Um, we will be doing food plots here soon. We will be setting my bow up here soon. Lots of stuff to come because velvet season is a mere like six weeks away. Crazy, so close. So we're really excited for that, getting ready for it. And I would love to hear if you have any questions regarding hunting stuff or any future content that you would like to see about it. And as always, I would really appreciate if you comment, like, and subscribe. Those three things help me out so much and I'll see you in the next video.